Hey Kingwood, today is Good Friday and I'd like to remind you to join us at 7 p.m. tonight on Facebook Live for our Good Friday service together. In preparation, just get your family, go ahead and pour your juice or I know that we're all in a kind of in a bind right now. If you don't have a juice, just pour some water and uh, light a candle and get some bread and uh, we'll do this together tonight at 7 p.m. at Facebook Live. So what makes this day so good? Because the day that it happened, the world of Jesus would have considered it far from good. To the disciples and all of the followers in Jesus' ministry, not only was their leader gone, but the reason he was their leader is because they had placed their belief in him that he was the Son of God. And now the Son of God was dead. How could this be good? As modern readers, 2,000 years later, sometimes it's really hard for us to see all that's going on in the Gospels. But there's this highlighted juxtaposition that's happening throughout all of them. What the disciples think is best and what Jesus thinks is best, they are two radically different things. The disciples expect a warrior, militant overthrower of their Roman captors, and Jesus could not be farther from that. That's why Peter tries to rebuke Jesus as Jesus predicts his death. And Jesus tells him, get behind me, Satan. The disciples on another occasion keep children from coming to Jesus. And again, Jesus says, you're missing it. Let them come to me. Even James and John come to Jesus and they ask him, would it be okay if one of us could sit on your right and the other one of us sit on your left when you enter your glory? For them... Glory is the crown and glory is the throne. But for Jesus, glory is the cross. So he responds, you have no idea what you're asking. There will be someone on my right and my left, but it's not for me to decide who. And in Jesus' glory, two thieves flank him. Only God places two sinners beside him in his glory. Peter gets a really hard time for deserting Jesus, but don't forget, he picked up a sword and was ready to fight an entire Roman garrison of soldiers until Jesus told him, Peter, put the sword away. This isn't the way. So God on the cross is far from good to this band of disciples. But it is in this event, more than any other in the entire scope of history, the cross, that we see clearest the character, the nature, and the agenda of God. Today, I'd like to remind you that there was once a day that everyone thought was terrible, and yet God knew it was good. Is there something happening in your life today which you need a new perspective? God has a unique way of looking at things. Why not ask Him? Father, today, it's possible that there are many of my friends and family and people that I love and that I serve that are watching this and just thinking that things are terrible but somehow you have a way of seeing good or bringing out the good in those things that we see as bad. Today, I pray for each one of them, bring something good, make something good out of something that's difficult. In Jesus' name, amen.